If you want to be respected in life, try these habits that show respect to others. The respect you earn is often a reflection of the respect you give. It's the universal law of reciprocity. Ever been in a room and noticed that one person everyone seems to gravitate towards? They seem to have an air of authority, a magnetic personality that draws people in. It's almost as though they've mastered some secret art of respect. You might wonder if it's due to their achievements, their wealth, their appearance, or their eloquence. However, the reality is much simpler than you might think. The secret lies not in what they have, but rather in how they behave. They might not be the wealthiest, the most successful, or the most attractive, but they command respect through their actions and habits. They exhibit habits that show respect to others and in turn, earn respect for themselves. So what are these habits? They involve a multitude of actions that range from simple gestures to complex behavioral patterns. It is about attentively listening when someone speaks, showing empathy during a conversation or being considerate about others. It's about acknowledging the worth of others and valuing their contributions. It's about maintaining a positive attitude and treating everyone with kindness and fairness, regardless of their status or background. Moreover, it's about not just talking, but actually doing. It's about being accountable for your actions and being reliable. It's about being honest and trustworthy, demonstrating integrity in all your dealings. It's about setting healthy boundaries and respecting others' boundaries as well. It's about being humble and modest, not boasting about your successes, but rather letting your actions speak for themselves. Respect is more than just a social currency. It's a way of life. It's a complex dance of behaviors that build mutual trust, understanding, and admiration. It's not a one-time thing, but a habit that needs to be nurtured and cultivated with time, patience, and practice. Reality is that anyone can learn these habits and garner respect in return. It's not a privilege reserved for a select few. It's an opportunity open to all. And the good news is, it doesn't require any extraordinary skills or talents. All it requires is a willingness to learn, to grow, and to treat others the way you want to be treated. It's all about the way we interact with and acknowledge those around us. Let's delve into this topic and highlight some habits that you should try if you want to be respected in life. Practice active listening. You know that person who seems to just get you? The one who understands your deepest thoughts? Who can the subtle undercurrents of emotion in your voice? And who knows your unspoken words? That person embodies the essence of active listening. This is a skill that is often misunderstood. Many believe it to be a passive act of merely hearing what someone else has to say. But in truth, it is far more complex and involved. Active listening is an art, a form of communication that requires the listener to fully engage with the speaker, to truly themselves in the speaker's world. It involves not only listening to the words spoken, but also understanding the meaning behind them. It involves observing the speaker's body language, their facial expressions, and the tone of their voice. It's about interpreting the pauses, the sighs, the unspoken emotions. It's about showing that you're not just hearing them, but you're with them. You're part of their narrative. Active listening is about demonstrating respect for the speaker's thoughts and feelings. It's about validating their experiences, acknowledging their pain or joy, and encouraging their expression. It's about creating a safe space for them to share their thoughts and emotions without fear of judgment or ridicule, about making them feel heard, seen, and understood. Show empathy. Now, empathy is another habit that I've found to be incredibly effective in earning respect. It's the ability to put oneself in another's shoes, to truly understand and share their feelings. It's an emotional connection that goes beyond mere sympathy. It's about feeling with others, not just for them. In the early days of my career, I was under the impression that wielding authority with sternness, the path to gaining respect. I believed that respect was something that could be commanded through fear or superiority. However, it wasn't long before I realized that this approach was far from the truth. Respect is not about being feared or being in control. It's about understanding and compassion. It's about showing that you appreciate the perspectives of others, that you value their opinions and feelings, that you treat them with kindness and dignity. Respect is earned by showing empathy, by actively listening, 
and by being genuinely invested in the well-being of others. It took me time to learn this, but once I did, I found that my relationships improved, my influence grew, and I gained the respect that I had always sought. You see, respect is not taken, it's given. And the key to earning it lies in practicing active listening and showing empathy. This is the truth I have discovered. Scene script. Consistency is a virtue that is too often overlooked, but it's crucial if you want to earn respect. If you stop and ponder it, you'll realize just how much it matters. Would you trust or respect someone who is constantly shifting their positions or someone who doesn't keep their promises? In all likelihood, you wouldn't. This is because consistency is a concept deeply rooted in human psychology. It's a key factor in how we perceive others, how we decide who is trustworthy and who isn't. Continuity in actions and words creates a sense of stability and reliability. When we see someone behaving consistently, it provides us with a psychological comfort, a sense of predictability that helps us navigate our complex social world. Conversely, when people act inconsistently, it creates uncertainty and discomfort. That's why we tend to distance ourselves from them. Consistency, thus, is not only a habit, but a reflection of personal integrity and dependability. The trait of humility, on the other hand, has an equally significant role in gaining respect. This can be traced back to ancient Chinese philosophy, where humility is considered one of the three treasures of Taoism, along with compassion and frugality. This ancient philosophy views humility not as a sign of meekness or inferiority, but as a symbol of strength and wisdom. Humility enables you to accept your limitations and learn from others. It makes you approachable, relatable, and easy to connect with. It is a virtue that encourages mutual respect and understanding, fostering a positive and harmonious environment. It's the quality that reminds us of our human condition, our fallibility, and our need for growth. Being humble doesn't mean being weak. Instead, it signifies wise enough to recognize that there's always more to learn, more to understand, and more to achieve. Humility is a bridge that connects us with others, a quality that brings us closer to our shared humanity. Displaying humility is, in fact, recognized as a sign of strength and wisdom rather than weakness. I value others. Every single individual in this vast, diverse world, irrespective of their position, stature, or the role they play in society, carries within them something unique, something special that sets them apart. This uniqueness is what they bring to the table, their distinctive gift to the world, and it is worthy of admiration and appreciation. Each person has their own unique contribution, their own exclusive skill set or perspective that can be leveraged to improve and enhance our collective human experience. Recognizing these contributions and valuing them is not only beneficial, but vital. It fosters respect, understanding, and mutual growth, creating a society that values diversity and individual growth. Practice honesty. In a world where deception is often the simpler route, being honest is a virtue that demands courage. It involves speaking your truth, voicing your convictions, even when the circumstances complicate it, even when it's particularly comfortable or convenient. Honesty is a commitment to authenticity, to transparency, a promise to be genuine, no matter the situation at hand. It's about being real, being yourself without any pretense or facade, regardless of the situation. Show gratitude. Gratitude, an emotion that's then just a simple thank you, is a habit that not only makes you feel good on the inside, but also earns you respect from others. It's a powerful tool that helps you develop a positive mindset, fostering a sense of fulfillment and satisfaction in your life. It a reflection of your ability to acknowledge and appreciate the efforts of others, extending beyond mere politeness and having profound impacts on our social interactions. Imagine thanking a friend, not just for a favor, but for the constant support they've provided over the years. Or acknowledging a colleague for their relentless hard work that often goes unnoticed, transforming a workplace into a more positive, productive environment. Perhaps it could be expressing your gratitude to a complete stranger for their kind gesture, an act that took you by surprise but exhibited the essence of humanity. Now let's ponder over generosity. Generosity is not simply about giving material things. It's a trait that goes beyond the physical. It can also be about offering your time, a precious commodity in our fast-paced world, to someone who needs it. Or it can be sharing your knowledge or skills, contributing to the growth and betterment of others. 
Generosity is not just about giving. It's about nurturing a spirit of selflessness and understanding the power of empathy. Be generous. Maintain integrity. I remember a time when I had the option to take a shortcut in a project. It was a time when I was under immense pressure. The ticking clock was my greatest enemy. Work was piling up, deadlines were looming, and the temptation was looming larger than everything else. This shortcut, as alluring as it was, wasn't the right path to take. It would have made my life easier, there's no denying that. I could have saved time, effort, perhaps even sailed through that project with minimum stress and strain. The shortcut was the proverbial gift horse, and no one would have known the difference. At least that's what it seemed like. But the crux of the conundrum wasn't the shortcut or the project. It wasn't the looming deadline or the mounting pressure. It was about integrity. It was about maintaining the fundamental tenets of honesty and truthfulness, even when no one is watching. It was about upholding the very essence of my character and worth without letting it fray, even in the most challenging circumstances. Lead by example. That's a phrase we hear often, isn't it? And there's a deep truth in those three simple words. Actions do indeed speak louder than words. You could craft the most eloquent speeches about respect, but if your actions don't align those eloquent words, respect becomes a hollow echo. In the long run, it's your actions that leave an imprint, not just your words. Leading by example is more than just a phrase. It means embodying the values and habits you want others to adopt. It's about fostering an environment of trust, respect, and integrity by demonstrating those very values in your actions. It's about setting the standard, setting the precedent. It's about inspiring others to aspire to those same standards through their actions. Respect is more than a word. It's a way of living, of interacting with others. It's about showing respect to others through your actions, not just your words. About treating others with kindness, valuing their opinions, acknowledging their worth. And when you cultivate this respect in your actions, it radiates, it becomes infectious. When you lead by example, you become a role model for others. They observe your actions, they internalize your values, and they reflect on your deeds. And they are inspired. They see your actions and are inspired to act similarly. They strive to emulate your integrity, your respect, and your leadership. That's the power of leading by example. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and like. Also hit the notification button for more videos like this.